What makes us human? The brain, our brain, makes us human. It's the largest in terms of number of cells and connections between them. It's the most sophisticated region-wise, because it has the emotional region, it has the language region, and it is highly connected as a whole, which makes me feel one thing. The Edmund and Lilly Safra Center for Brain Sciences at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem is digging deep into those secrets, and Professor Idan Segev has answers. So the question is, what is unique in the human brain that makes us human relative with all these new capabilities to talk, to remember, to plan the future? How come that my brain is so sophisticated? What makes it so sophisticated? Is it only the number of the cells? We have more, a thousand times more than the rodent. Or is there something else in the brain that is beyond the big numbers? My answer is certainly yes. Some people feel that there is something else, maybe mystical thing, you know, that it's not only the material, but there is something else that comes to the complicated machine, makes us human. I don't think so. It's a machine. It's a wonderful, wonderful machine. So if this is a machine, in principle, I should be able to replicate it. To do that, Professor Segev has spent his life mapping out the base unit, the neuron. So I'm trying to understand the sophistication of a single neuron as an input-output computational device, as a microchip. So we develop mathematical theories in order to understand how signals, electrical signals, flow over the whole structure until they get into the output side to generate this output signal. When you have a mathematical formulation of a biological phenomena, you build a machine that replicates the mathematics and the mathematics represent the biology, so we merge biology with technology through mathematical understanding. How complicated is the human brain? It's the most complicated machine we know. There is nothing similar to it. First of all, it is built from 100 billion elements, which is the number of stars in our sky, so to speak. Huge number, but it is very sophisticated because each neuron has a unique profile and unique structure. It's different than the others, so it's not only the number, but the individuals are, are very different from each other, and the connectivity between them, who is connected to what, I'm connected to you or to him or to her, this is another level of complexity, the most complex thing that we can imagine. Architecture is certainly part of our complexity, and if you want a complex machine to be able to do complex things like multiple tasks and general uh, artificial intelligence, then you will need, a, for sure, more complex architectures that exist today. The architectures that exist today in this machine learning big data technology, which is a big revolution, if I, as I said, a very simple architecture. What Professor Segev is doing at LSAC is building that new architecture, or at least the code for it, machines that transcend the limits of hardware. We don't use the word hardware in our brain. We, we sometimes use the word lifeware or wetware because our brain is not hardwired in many cases because it's changing. The wiring changes, the connectivity changes. And that's part of our capability to learn and change during everything that we do. So, you know, this interview with you is changing my brain, changing your brain, changing the brain of the audience. We are learning machines. That's the magic of the brain, that within seconds, it learns something new. Summed up, you get a machine that is more than the sum of its parts, one that crosses the threshold of the purely material and determinist. If you ask me what makes us human in terms of the brain, it's the big number of cells, it's the fact that they are connected to each other much more intensely in human, and that the, each neuron is already a sophisticated, complicated input-output computer device, much more than in the red. So these together create a machine that can do much more things. And the critical question, or perhaps hope, is what can be made with this new understanding of the mind? This other machine will be very much like us. It will feel, it will walk, it will be intelligent, it will be our friend.